What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and we're having a different kind of video today. Not really going to be a midweek update, but I just kind of wanted to get some things off my mind that I've been thinking about recently. Uh, because if you haven't been following the real world news of what's been going on, uh, we now have a fired head of the FBI. There are tons of people uh, being investigated into ties with Russia as well as going against the Brits and po politics are just insane this week. And of course, pretty much since the 2016 presidential election, they've been insane and everybody's been infatuated with what's Trump doing next? What is the House going to do? What is the new fill-in name of government official here going to do once they get into office? And then all of a sudden, they decline the offer and it's just, all of these things are going on and it's really stressing everyone out. Like, I mean really stressing people out. Throughout the entire nation and really the entire world, there is just this overwhelming feeling of anxiety that something is about to happen. It's almost like you feel someone watching you all of the time. It's just this thing that's eating into the back of our minds that we know there is going to be some kind of breach in the levee over the course of the next couple of weeks that may or may not actually come that is going to completely and totally change our country, our lives, and really the world and history uh, as we know it forever or at least that's what it feels like will it have that kind of lasting impact who really knows but it just feels like we're all on the precipice of something big that hasn't quite happened yet and we have no idea when it's going to happen or what kind of effect it's going to have just we know there's some kind of big change coming and on top of that we're trying to keep up with a lot of these things or at least I am and a lot of people my age are uh, we're trying to keep up with the news and when something happens within 30 minutes something else happens and if something makes it to the front page of reddit six hours later there's another bigger news story that incorporates elements of what happened six hours ago and you can't keep up with things a couple of weeks back I was really trying to get started on this big political channel hype which was going to uh, fill people in on the biggest news stories that were going on but when every news story in politics is big and life-changing and can affect the government for a long time it's hard to keep up with this stuff because like I said by the time you record one video edit one video and upload one video something is completely completely and totally changed the meaning and the background behind that video you just made. People can't keep up with what's going on. So a couple of weeks back, whenever I was trying to get this new political channel started, I really had a big push and an interest to get more into politics and the things that I deemed mattered in the real world. Not that video games and technology and entertainment and things like that don't really matter, it's just that they didn't feel like they did to me. There are bigger fish to fry in the world. Things are going on that really need our attention more so than just playing the newest DLC for whatever game you might be interested in. And so I really dove into Watergate, I dove into North Korea, I dove into a lot of other things that are going on in politics, both uh, on our US soil and worldwide. And to be quite honest, I got pretty overwhelmed. In the same way, I bet a lot of you guys are getting overwhelmed as well. And so I decided to kind of step back and really reevaluate what I was doing and not focus so much on the political stuff that I wasn't focusing on, you know, entertainment and enjoying myself, but I wasn't focusing completely on entertainment and enjoying myself like I had been before. And I really did discover something about the two different kinds of media because uh, whenever you have things like CNN and Fox and MSNBC and a fake or real news, whatever you want to call it, depending on what political party or ideology you identify with, uh, if you focus on those things all the time, they have value. However, the entertainment side of the industry that has to do with video games and movies and television and Netflix and things like that also has value as well. And to be quite honest, they're both the same amount of value, but they just have a different kind of value. What I mean by this is that if you focus completely and totally on the political side of things and you get overwhelmed with the impending fallout with North Korea or Russia or any other kind of country in the world, or perhaps you get overwhelmed with the fact that our government seems to be corrupt through and through, then you can focus on some entertainment stuff for a while and it forms a kind of sense of escapism where you don't really have to focus on this stuff even though it is going to be constantly there. You can get away from that for a little while and regain a sense of sanity. Whether it be through what new things are coming to Netflix, what new DLC is coming to your favorite game, what new movie is coming out and all of the credit scenes that roll after Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, uh, whatever it may be, it definitely provides a sense of comfort that we don't always have to focus on these terrible things that are going on in our country, in the world, around us. In general, we don't have to focus on the bad and we can just kind of take a step back for a minute and enjoy something entertaining and fun in life, which, although it is important, 
important to pay attention to what's going on politically and in the world and everything like that uh, you also need to enjoy life and really don't take it for granted because you're not going to be here forever and everything that's going on now will eventually pass with the resolution of one thing or another so I guess what I'm trying to say here is pay attention to what's going on politically right now because it is incredibly important and you will wish that you had after the fact if you are not already doing so however don't become so infatuated with it that you forget to really enjoy life as it stands right now because we're not going to be here forever neither are any of these people that are in the news right now so we should all just kind of take a step back and really do enjoy things but seriously pay attention to what's happening it is incredible